Am I the asshole? For giving my husband my honest opinion after he asked? My husband and I 42F, 39M recently passed through his hometown and so made a trip by his childhood house to show me where he grew up. He was ecstatic to find that the Chinese takeaways fish and chip shop that his mum got for him each Friday as a kid to was still open 20 years later. Even though we're on a diet I decided to indulge him and go there for a nostalgia dinner. Big mistake. After spending half an hour talking to the elderly Chinese owner about how he used to go there as a kid without consideration for me just standing there waiting he ordered half the menu. Fish and chips, lemon chicken, sweet and sour pork, chicken fried rice. His excuse being we could save leftovers for the next few days. Even though he knows we are on a diet. When we finally got home to eat he asked me what I thought. I'm someone that speaks how I feel he knows this so I was honest it was terrible. The chips were too salty and not crispy enough, fried rice skimped on the meat, sweet and sour pork didn't feel authentic, among other things. I'm confident if not for my husband's nostalgia glasses he would say the same. My husband is acting like I personally insulted his late mother. As if I was supposed to lie and pretend to like a disgusting meal he didn't even make. I stand by my comments 100 but want to know if I am the asshole here or if my husband just needs to man up a bit. Am I the asshole? You sound like a lot. Sounds like you rained on what was basically a sweet trip down memory lane. Yeah, I get the diet thing. Losing weight is tough. But he was showing all the signs of being totally delighted at reliving a little bit of his childhood. You're the asshole. You couldn't just say your mom would be proud we are continuing the tradition you were aware that the meal was about a nostalgic memory and not an audition for Gordon Ramsay. You're the asshole. I'm someone that speaks how I feel. Yeah, that's code for. Nothing pleases me more than pissing in someone else's Cheerios. It makes me feel so smug and superior. And the best part is I get to claim I'm just being honest and no one catches on that I'm just miserable and nasty. Oh yes they do. You're the asshole. I'm someone that speaks how I feel. Anytime I see this, I know it's going to be a you're the asshole vote. Nothing wrong with speaking your mind, but take into consideration your husband's feelings. You know he was ecstatic about eating that nasty food, but you just had to rain on his soggy chips. You couldn't just play along because he was so happy? You're the asshole. There is something called tact. Look it up. Learn it. Live it. When people say they are just being honest, that is often code for I don't care if I hurt you. Holy poop, you're the asshole. Your husband wanted to take you on a trip down memory lane to a place that was important to him when he was a child. And you defecated all over that trip. All you had to do was say something like I'm so glad you're enjoying it, and thank you for sharing this with me. You all were on a diet? Big whoop. It's one evening and a one-off event. Too many people use phrases like I'm someone that speaks how I feel to justify assholery. Just so here. Apologize to your husband for your gross insensitivity. Ood I'm someone who speaks how I feel is almost always someone being a complete ass, refusing to read the room and crying when anyone stands ho to them. And that held true here. You're on a diet? Eat one bite out each thing. You had to wait a whole half hour? You clearly have read it, tool around on your phone and let your husband enjoy his trip down memory lane. You didn't like the food eh, not to my taste husband but I'm glad you wanted to share your childhood with me. I'm someone who speaks how I feel as code for I am rude and I don't like it when people get upset about it. You're the asshole you could have just been quiet and let him have his moment. You're the asshole. Being someone who speaks how you feel in all circumstances is not a good thing. Honesty is a value that needs to be balanced against other values, like kindness. That balance was way off here. You're the asshole. Just wow. You're really self-centered and don't seem to have any empathy at all for this situation. You're the asshole you behaved like a petulant child. First he was speaking to the owner and left you standing there without consideration, and then you are the person who speaks their mind which is code for I'm a self-centered ah who doesn't care about anyone else's feelings. Then you revel in shitting on the food from his childhood. Yeah. You're the asshole. A big one. You're the asshole primarily for saying man up a bit. Why did you have to ruin his childhood nostalgia? Why did you chose to be deliberately harsh? Isn't there a middle way between I love this and how can you eat this crap? Such is not entirely to my taste, but I can see how you must have loved it as a kid or some such. You're the asshole. I'm someone that speaks how I feel. As soon as I read that I knew whatever came after was going to be a behavior, learn some empathy. You're the asshole. 
following this account just see if you whine and make excuses for why others need to man up whenever you're speaking your mind. Cringy middle school mentality you got right there, grimacing face. You're the asshole. You could have given an answer that wasn't a lie, but didn't insult his nostalgia for the place. It was sweet that you were so nostalgic about it, or the fish was good. Instead you were deliberately cruel about a place he felt great nostalgia for and that you would never have to go to again. That was selfish and mean. You're the asshole he told you it was special to him. Hell I still think about my hometown's Chinese place even though I know how shitty it is. He was so excited to share a piece of his childhood with you, and instead of sucking it up you criticized it and seemingly only thought about the diet you're both on instead of enjoying the moment. Unless the diet is for serious medical health reasons, you were just damn rude. Take your own advice and suck it up. I loved seeing how happy it made you I love anything that makes you smile and return to fond memories of your mother. The food honestly wasn't my favorite but I know we went there for you and your memories and that is more important to me anyway. I love you. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Please don't say if my husband needs to man up a bit. Being a man or human in general doesn't mean you aren't allowed to feel upset. You could have considered your response much better. Honesty doesn't have to be so reductive to only criticism. You could have said I love seeing you get to enjoy something that makes you feel so nostalgic and that played a big part of your younger years. It's not my personal taste favorite, but it was good to see you this excited. You're the asshole. He's reliving his childhood and is sharing the nostalgia with his wife, just having the joy of eating the same meal who knows how many times his mother got for him as a child. He might even think the meal itself isn't a three Michelin stars dinner, but there was no need to point out every single fault you found on the dish and it mattered to him. Calling it a disgusting meal doesn't make it better either. And there isn't a need for him to man up, he was just happy and hoping to share the moment. Seriously? You're the asshole. He wasn't looking for authentic gourmet cuisine here it was authentically something he loved as a child, and it sounds like he probably made the owner's night, too. It had to be something special for this elderly man to get to reminisce with someone who still remembered his cooking fondly 20 years on. I can appreciate that this was likely kinda boring for you, but come on, grow a heart. Before saying something you know might be hurtful, ask yourself. 1. Is it true? 2. Is it necessary? If not, keep it to yourself and choose something you can say that is kind. What I love most about this meal is the smile on your face, dear husband. That alone is worth the extra calories tonight. Thank you for sharing part of your childhood with me. Kind of wild to critique whether the sweet sour pork tasted authentic. A. You're the asshole. You knew this place was special to him and he was clearly super excited about it. I feel like you could have been a bit more gentle with your response. You know, I can't say it's the best Chinese fish and chips I've ever had, but if I grew up on it as a kid I'd probably have a fondness for it too. I get it and I'm glad you were able to enjoy it again. You're the asshole. I doubt anyone wants you to lie, but did you really have to go so hard and cruel on a place that obviously meant a lot to your husband? You could have easily said the place wasn't for you. There's a difference between being honest and being harsh. You're the asshole for man up. Also not caring about your husband's feelings. Also forcing a diet. Also acting like sweet and our pork has any sort of one true traditional recipe. Also acting like nostalgia glasses about good memories are terrible. Also someone who prioritizes speaking how you feel over its impact on your spouse's feelings. Adult up and stop acting like self-centered brat. You're the asshole. Your husband was just trying to relive positive childhood memories and you, for some reason, felt compelled to shit all over it and mask it as honesty. He is a grown-ass adult, and if he wants to order half the menu he has every right not that he did, if your description is accurate. You were clearly just looking for a reason to complain at him because you didn't respect his choices from the start. Grow up. When you said or does he need to man up, that's when I knew you're the asshole. You're the asshole. My husband is acting like I personally insulted his late mother. Because you did. He was ecstatic to find that the Chinese takeaways fish and chip shop that his mum got for him each Friday as a kid. You didn't have to rag on it. You could have just said it wasn't your style. You're the asshole for listing in such great detail why it was so bad. You could have simply said, it wasn't my favorite, but that's okay because I'm glad you're happy. Except that it doesn't seem that you were glad he was happy. You seem to have resented most of the experience, which is also why you're the asshole. You're the asshole BC of the tag about being known for being honest which 99 of people use as code for actually being an asshole. You didn't have to lie to him but you absolutely didn't have to be nasty about it.
you're the asshole. There's absolutely no reason you couldn't have said, since it's your nostalgia, you enjoy it, honey. Don't rain on your husband's parade. Giving an honest opinion is not an excuse to be mean. Are you usually this way about everything? You're the asshole. You're not you when you're hungry. Have a Snickers. The dude was loving some nostalgia. Yes, you had to stand there for 30 minutes and had to eat some food that wasn't the best, but it sounds like you were picking a fight. Maybe he kept you waiting just a tad too long, but come on man. It isn't always about you. Potentially controversial but, I was with you until the last line and considered giving this ANAH that was until I got to the end of your post. Your husband is not less of a man because of how he feels. What a gross sentiment to have about someone you claim to love. You're the asshole. You sound like an awful person. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You sound like some who prides themselves on being honest and is actually incredibly rude for no reason. I am hoping next time you ask him how you look, he tells you with complete honesty. You're the asshole just let people enjoy things, Jesus. You cannot agree with someone without shitting on them, especially someone you care about very much. Nostalgia is strong and sweet and one of the most comforting emotions in a world that can often feel colder and uglier as we age. Give an honest opinion of something when it is asked for and warranted. Let someone you love just have something warm, comfortable, and too salty without being in awe about it for no good reason. You're the asshole instead of talking to him about how you didn't enjoy the wait, you took it out on the food practically scolded the dishes. There's 172 million other ways to say the food wasn't your cup of tea. Let him enjoy his two seconds of nostalgia. You're the asshole. I'd cry you mentioned diet like three times but that was ridiculous. Let him enjoy what he enjoys, you could have easily said it was fine and moved on with life. I'm going to say this, you're the asshole and you do look fat in those pants.